If you're wondering whether big malls are just an American thing, it seems like Italians love them too. Today we're at a mall here in our local area. They've got an Ikea and a bunch of other stores that we're going to check out, so stay tuned. Hey, that's not bad for five dollars. <laughs> five euro, right? This will light up the whole neighborhood. So of course, in true Italian fashion, even though the restaurant is supposed to open at 11, it is 11 11 right now and they're still setting up so like we said before in other videos even though something in italy technically is supposed to open at a certain time i feel like it's more of a suggestion than a rule i don't know if this is the setup just because we're in italy or whenever you're in like in the kitchen areas there's always a bunch of like wine glasses and empty wine bottles i don't know if it's like an italy thing or is it an, i don't think it's an ikea thing because i don't remember seeing this in chicago I don't like the exposed closets though. It just makes it look like all of your stuff is just out in the middle of nowhere. I think I could never be this organized though. <laughs> like it would just be a disaster everywhere. Also, we have way too much stuff for a small cute desk like this. It, honestly, you know what it feels like? It feels like you're uh, sleeping inside of a closet. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, like they're trying to make use of the smallest space possible, but rather than feel cozy, you feel cluttered. So this is like perfect if you're single, you're young and you're not trying to uh, get married or have kids anytime soon, this is like a perfect setup. Or if you live in 2023 and you're just hella broke. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody is. But this is, I mean, this is a functional kitchen because you have a little dining nook, you have cooking, some prep area. This is definitely not an Italian fridge. Ours is like, I feel like half the size of this one. Yeah. I really love this setup because they have like the, what, the f film fixer, like all of that. Comment down below if you ever shot on film originally before it was cool. Yeah, this is definitely the setup for uh, the guy who's got way too much time on his hands and just wants to shoot film all day. And uh, who wants to go broke doing that because film is really expensive right now. Oh, they have the little prints. They, they won't look like this when you shoot, but well, you know. Uh, they're gonna be blurry, they're gonna be out of focus. <laughs> Light leaks, because the camera's probably super old. Yeah, definitely. So this is the first time I've ever seen a double fridge. So you have fridge and freezer, which I think they just stacked adjust the fridge and just the freezer i would love to have this in italy oh man this would save so much time going to different stores like two three times a week you can't fit all your vegetables in the fridge our freezer is so small i think we literally have like 10 things in there and that's it no ice because we have to buy a separate ice maker which we don't even use that often so to be honest i don't think we really need ice Whatever it is, something smells amazing. So let's get some wine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's get some water. Oh, get a slice of this cake. That is the best cake yeah, ever. Awesome. Yes. So what do we have here? Oh, this is an interesting salmon. You want to try some? Sure. Marinated salmon. Vegetable. Ah, too healthy, some vegetables. So you know you're in Italy. So you got the mozzarella, you got the salad, you got prosciutto, you got more mozzarella. So this is definitely, I think, region specific. Then we have all the beer. I think, is that wine? Oh no, it's lemonade. lemonade. Wanna try one? Yeah, Love lemonade. That's Vernon's thing. He loves all the different lemonades around the world. I see the meatballs. I see the, it's not cranberries. What is it? Like those uh, the little berries that they use? The, lo the lingonberries. Lingonberries. And I, oh, they have frito misto. No way. I've never seen that in Ikea, which is essentially like fried seafood and French fries. And I, they also, I see have lasagna. So I think this is a Sicily specific thing with pizza. So the total lunch in Ikea for all of this was 29 euro. And the cool thing is if you saw in the clip that you just slide in the trays and the robot scans everything and you just pay at the end, which I think is so cool. Okay, so we're gonna start with an obvious classic, the Swedish meatballs. I'm gonna see if they're any different here than they are at the Ikeas that we're used to in the US. Nope, it is exactly the same. <laughs> they went very generous with the mashed potatoes. I'm starting out with the, uh, I went all seafood today. So I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna go all in. Just the whole big piece of the salmon. Mm. Mm. The dill is so refreshing with the smokiness. I can eat salmon every single day. So, and then the other thing we got is just essentially fried vegetables and fried seafood. So I have, I don't know what here, but I know this is a shrimp. Shrimp, delicious. The breading, 
Let's see what this is. Oh, it's something green. I don't know what it is. But the breading on this, it's thick, but it's still crispy, but it's full of flavor. So it's not like a very bland breading. It's a very flavorful, very fresh. Mm. But the other thing we got also fried was these pizza balls. I think they're pizza balls. Oh my God, that's gonna be, that's gonna be my new favorite thing. So correct me if I'm wrong. I think these are a traditional thing from Sicily. Usually I'm not a huge fan of these, but these are pizza. So let's, let's give it a shot. Rice and pizza flavor, the sauce, the cheese. You're gonna love this, Ronan. Yeah, of course they would have a Sephora. That's awesome. You wanna check it out? Let's see if we can find anything. Do I wanna check it out? Obviously not, but let's see them. He, he does it because he loves me, right? <laughs> so far we've been to Sephora, we've been to Foot Locker. There's a Timberland, there's an H&M. There's a, I know there's a gap here. There's a, there's a lot. You wouldn't even think that you've left the U.S. with some of the stores that they have here. There are a lot that are very similar to the ones in the U.S. Something you will notice is the fact they actually do Black Friday here, even though they don't celebrate Thanksgiving on none of the other stuff, but they took the, fr the sales from us. It's definitely a way for businesses to be able to just have more sales and they kind of look at the U.S. and they say, wow, they got a lot of sales going on. Let's see if we can incorporate that. So here you can see, uh, starting in the left, Media World is kind of like their Best Buy. Um, not sure what the other thing is, the Piazza. Then they have a movie theater. They have a giant supermarket, the Hypercoop, and Decathlon. What would you say Decathlon is like? Like um, Dick's Sporting Goods? Yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, there's Decathlon and Sportler. One of the things you may not have seen on the video so far, or maybe you have, is that this mall has signs in English, Italian, and Slovenian. So we're actually not that far away from the Slovenian border. And that means that a lot of the stuff that we're going to see here inside of Ikea and other things like that are going to be in multiple languages. So specifically Slovenian and Italian. Yeah. So you don't really see those languages side by side unless you get closer and closer to the border. And we're not that far away. I think we're maybe about 30, 40 minutes tops driving. Yeah, so that's really close. And of course, no mall ever it would be complete without a McDonald's, which we're not going to be eating in today because, you know, there's better stuff to eat at Ikea. And did you know that they also have a KFC here? Uh, I did not, and I'm kind of regretting eating the uh, IKEA food because that would be amazing right now. Yeah, that's something we've never had in Italy. I didn't even know they had KFC till like a couple of months ago. Movie theater. Oh, also they have Hunger Games, Napoleon, Prendy, Trolls, Casanova, Vanka. of course. <laughs> um, Comrade. <laughs> Comandante, so like Commander, the creator. So they do have a lot of American movies. I think it's probably like 50-50 American with Italian movies. Oh my god, is that that terrible uh, horror movie that thinks Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. That's no. A, uh, I saw the trailer for that one and it looked like oh. those straight to DVD, um, those holiday slasher films where it's like, this this Christmas, Jack Frost is gonna kill everybody. You know, it's something like that. It just looked like that sort of thing. And something that they do in the movie theaters here is they actually have an intermission in all the movies. So you get like, was it 10 or 15 minutes in between movies? Yeah, so like if you're going to use the bathroom, you're going to go get popcorn or something to drink. They give you an uh, intermission in the middle of the movie to go do that. It's really, really convenient. Everything we just walked was only the upstairs. So we're upstairs. So now we're going to go downstairs. And it seems like they literally have everything ready for Christmas. And I see a lot of stores that I may like, which Vernon will not like to go to because I can spend hours walking around there. I think they even have like a daycare center here. Oh, it is a daycare center. That's awesome. You can go shopping and your kids are just chilling here. That's so cool. I mean, I think we said it before, but this mall literally has everything. And it's a Saturday morning and it's not even that crowded. More Black Friday deals. I think of OVS always like the Italian H&M. So I don't know who spends 350 euro on a pen, but that seems a bit much. 400, Vern. There's one here made for from 400 euro. That is 400 euro, the green one. That is insane, 295. And then you have the five euro ones on top. I love it. I love the contrast. Like in Italy, you'll have like stuff like that next to stuff like that. It's just like no biggie. 220, 175. 
Wait, how much is that? That fountain pen, the blue one, is 160. Holy smokes. This setup right here, 895. No, the, the pen itself is 1300. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. This is probably one of my favorite home decor stores, Casa. Oh, I love everything here. So we made our way back to Ikea because we actually had to pick up a few things. But I think Vernon found his couch. Always wonder how practical these are because I feel like if you sneeze wrong, you're going to have your coffee and your orange juice in your bed. I think we may have underestimated how much stuff we were going to get because Vernon is struggling. Whatever size cart you think you need, get a bigger one. They're like the tiny real Christmas trees. Is that real? Yeah. Yeah, we got everything we wanted. I mean, we were hoping for the coffee table. I guess you can't win everything. But um, I, I think the best part about this, though, was that we got to check out this mall because this definitely blew my mind with all of the types of stories that it has. And uh, I think we'll definitely be coming back here. Does anybody else just feel like they had a total workout when they go to Ikea? Because I sure do. We are exhausted. We thought we were going to be there for like two hours. We ended up being in this mall for four and a half hours just walking around. Let's see how many steps we took. Eight and a half thousand steps. Hopefully you enjoyed today's little adventure and kind of got an idea what life in Italy is like. And it's not so different from USA. And hopefully you stay tuned from future adventures. Ciao! Thank you.